This conference will now be recorded. Yes, today we are going for the Tosca demo. So in this session, we used to uh, discuss like what is the Tosca and why we are having uh, demand for the Tosca in nowadays. And uh, today's topic and agenda is like what is Tosca test suit and comparison of Tosca with other automation tools and what are the advantages we are having in Tosca and what are the disadvantages we are having in Tosca. So these are the topics we are going to cover on this demo. First, what is Tosca test suit? So this Tosca test suit is an automation. Tosca is an automation tool. Okay. So we are having a lot of automation tool in the market, like we are having Selenium and QTP. We are having a, a test complete. We are having newly one of the tool eggplant is coming, and we are having a Sicoli is one of the image based control tool we are having. So we are having a lot of automation tools in Tosca. But why we are going with the Tosca? So we are apart from Tosca, we are having a lot of automation tools in the market. But why we are going with the Tosca? So Tosca is having lot of features. In that one, first one is it is a code based tool. It's not like a zero percent coding tool. We don't have, we don't require any coding here. And so the first point is test management tool. So it's an act as a test management tool. First of all, what is test management tool? So test management tool means we used to call Jira and QC is a test management tools. The same way, Tosca also is act as a test management tool. So which tools we used to call test management tools is like the tool which is having an end to end process. That means once you got the requirements from client and once you deliver to client. So we are having a lot of procedure in between them. So in which tool we can track end to end is called as a test management tool. If you consider QC or Jira, we can store our requirements. We can create our test cases. We can execute our test cases. We can pull our reports and we can deliver UAD testing. We can deliver it. And so this is an end to end procedure. The same way in Tosca also, we can store our requirements. We can create any test cases. We can execute those cases and we can pull our reports. Apart from that, we can do the test planning over there. And apart from that, it is an automation tool. So that is the reason Tosca also will act as a test management tool. And readable test cases in Tosca. It is a very easy to understand in a new person as well. Once you, some other person is written the test cases, if you if you go for Selenium, so Selenium is in a script based one. So uh, we are having a multiple coding ones and QTP is in a script based one. We are having a VB scripting. If you see any Selenium and QTP scripts, it is very hard to understand the people who is not having any technical background. So if you have the technical background, you can understand. But some other person who is not having the technical background, he cannot able to understand because it is an a coding one. So if you know the coding, then only you can understand those cases. Whereas Tosca is having the readable test cases. That means if you see the test case by seeing those cases itself, we can understand that. If you see this, these all are the Tosca scripts. So if you see any sample ones, So what we are doing here, we are doing any closing browsers and we are logging into Flipkart. If you want to see the steps, you can see the steps as well. So what all are the things you are doing here in the each and every step launching the URL and clicking on login button and we are entering the credentials. You are doing any login is happened or not like this. You can easily read your test case in Tosca. Okay. And it supports for both manual and automation test cases in both GUI and non GUI. GUI means graphical user interface. And whatever we can see in the front end, that is called GUI application. We are having in a non GUI applications like APIs and all. So it supports for both GUI and non GUI applications in a both in a manual and automation flows. 
like you can create your automation scripts as well as you can create your manual test cases in tosca you can you can create your test case as an a manual test case that means you just need to create your manual steps like you can see create in a manual test step so how you are creating a test cases in qc and jira the same way you can create your test cases here like what you need to like launch the url launch the flipkart url so when you are executing the test case it show it's popping out this particular step and you need to do it as a manually the same way how you are doing it in a qc and jira the same way you can do it in the tosca as well and it supports for the load testing and it supports ci cd ci cd means continuation integration and continuation development so in the end of this session one slide we are having all ci cd tools if you take any qtp uh, selenium so it's not support for all kind of ci cd tools but tosca will support for all ci cd tools we are having lot of ci cd tools in the market like azure devops jenkins bamboo we are having a lot of ci cd tools so irrespective of the tool for each and every tool tosca will support for the integration purpose and this is the architecture of the tosca so it's act as an a test management tool and it's check that data quality management and it is in a data production monitoring what is the data production monitoring means so basically uh, sorry uh, basically a production monitoring system is a process that designed to record overall performance of the production line in any real time so <coughs> why we need an automation means so once we are having an a system integration testing at the regression phase we used to do the automation testing so basically this automation scripts will use for the maintenance purpose so when you are doing it in the real time when you are running your test cases so it will give the overall performance like for this step it took in this much of time for this step it taken this much of time for entire process uh, it considered this much of time so it will give the time framing overall performance it will give if you go to the execution you can see the over duration of that particular thing so how much time it took to execute that script so this is how you will get the outcomes so you can see how much time it is taking to record the overall performance we can use the tosca and what is tosca test suite here you can see so we are having these all are the sections actually so we are having the test case design one so test case design means you can uh create your data tcd we used to call in tosca you can create your data inside tosca itself and it is in a model based test automation so here we are having the different modules we used to create so based on the modules it will work all technical information we used to have in the modules here and it act as an a test management tool as we discuss just now what is test management tool the tool which is having end to end process that means once you got the requirements from client once you deliver to the client so the tool which is having all the tracking records from end to end that tool is called test management tool so we can use it as a test management tool and here you are having a test data management we used to call tdm this is one of the concept which is not having in any other automation tools so basically what is this test data management will do is like we can store our data in tdm it's in a kind of inbuilt database in tosca so how your database like uh, db2 oracle ms sql server will work the same way you can use this tdm concept in tosca and tosca will work for the risk coverage optimization for example if you miss to testing some other requirement how much risk is coming or uh, uh if you are not considering any of the requirement in your testing how much damage is considering coming so those kind of risk coverage optimizations we can do it through tosca and it support for the multiple technologies 
So what allow the technologies basically if you take selenium it will support only for the web applications so whereas if you're going with some other kind of application types api's so uh, we are having the database applications salesforce so for all kind of applications it's irrespective of the application times application type it will support for each and every kind of application so that is the reason tosca is one of the uh, best features we are having and osv orchestrated service virtualization so this will comes into the picture when you are executing the test cases in the overnights basically when you are doing any overnight runs if you are not moving your mouse or cursor then any of the system will go into the sleep mode and it will not execute your scripts and your scripts will get fail once you enable this osv feature what it will do is like it will enable your system and then it will not allow your system to go into the sleep mode and it will run your test cases end to end and here what all are the applications it is supporting sap it will support oracle java html so so not like legacy applications like mainframes it will support so it will support all kind of applications that is the reason tosca is having that much of demand nowadays and these all are the sections so basically we can create our requirements in the requirement section and we can after that one will create our modules here modules means all technical information will store it here we are not going to write any code here we just need to scan and we need to add all the fields whatever we required and then based on this modules will create the test cases Be after that one will create an a our input data sheets and then we'll link with our test cases and we'll move our test case into the execution list for execution and here if you want to customize any of the reports then we used to use generate reports these all are the six sections basically we used to use in those six also requirements and generate reports in real time very less time only we used to use apart from these six we are having in a three more sections so what all are is go to the home um, if you check the sections test cases execution modules and this is the one issues and test planning we are having so these are the two more sections which we are having apart from these six but in real time we use those sections very less time okay these are the main sections we used to use in tosca and comparison of tosca with other automation tools so basically tosca is an a vendor tool Tricent team will provide this license and all and when you required any of the support also this Tricent team will provide whereas QTP also vendor tool that means like we are have we this is an a license tool so that is the reason we used to get the vendor support for the QTP as well but selenium is an open source we don't require any license here only the thing is when you are using the selenium if you got any doubts we need to do it Google and we need to search for that questions if you have any questions in the or tosca and qtp like when you are uh, preparing on anything we just need to raise an etiquette so that they will give an a solution for that one cost obviously this is an a license tool we required an a cost whereas qtp also we required an a cost we need to buy the license selenium is in a free of cost it is an open source one and when you are going to the type of application support tosca will support any kind of applications we don't we don't have any restrictions here whereas qtp and uft so that means like qtp will support only for web and desktop applications only selenium only for web application automation type it is in a model based automation that means like so here we are having in a modules based on that modules it will work qtp is in a script based one so we used to use the vb scripting here selenium is in a code based one we used to use multiple codings like we used to use c c plus plus java html whatever it is we can write multiple codes based on that one we can automate in selenium so scripting we don't require any scripting in tosca in qtp or eft yes we required it is in a vb scripting and api testing support tosca and qtp will give the api testing support whereas selenium will not give the api tdm test data management so 
inbuilt test data management means we are having an inbuilt database in tosca that is called tdm so tosca will support for tdm whereas qtp and selenium is not having the tdm support exploratory testing tosca will support for exploratory testing whereas qtp and selenium will not support for exploratory but in real time we don't use tosca for exploratory dedicated support as this is a vendor tool that vendor tricentis will give the support like whenever you have stuck up somewhere and you have any issues we just require to raise a query on that one in the support portal so that you will get the result resolution for that one whereas qtp also vendor tool we are having the dedicated support selenium whenever we require support we need to connect google only cicd integration so tosca will support for any ci tools whereas qtp only for jenkins and selenium also jenkins qc or jira integration tosca will support for both the integrations whereas qtp only for qc selenium is only for uh, so selenium will not support for any integration here so what is the purpose of qc or jira integration is so if you are integrate with that qc or jira you can automatically uh, execute your test cases based on the execution status in tosca it will update the status in your qc or jira as well it will reduce our human effort so here cicd tools <clears throat> what is this cicd purpose is so continuous in integration and continuous in development so what is the purpose of this pipeline setup is for example uh, we got a new build on friday midnight okay then by that time every tester will left for the day and they will come back on monday only so we are losing that around in a two days of time because we got the build on friday night but we are starting our execution from monday so we are losing two days of time to mitigate that time risk that means to to save that time if you are add all your scripts into the pipeline what will happen is once that build is completed that means the build got success then automatically the pipeline is having the tosca test cases once it is succeeded in next minute it will trigger the execution from automation from our workspace so by monday once you reach the office you can see the results what all are the test cases got passed so that is the reason the cicd integration is in a must and should uh, nowadays so if you have the cicd integration then it will help you at the execution point so what all of the list of cicd tools in market is available is we are having buddy jenkins team city go cd bamboo gitlab ci circle ci code ship build bottom integrity strider cd auto rabbit and we are having azure devops is also one of the cicd tool <coughs> these are the list of cicd tools cicd tools i just listed whatever is in a hot tools in the market we are having lot of cicd tools based on your organization they can opt any one of the cicd tool for them so if you are having jenkins then only it will get integrate with qtp or selenium if you are having other cicd tools you cannot able to integrate for the sake of automation in the organization they need to change their cicd tool so if you are having tosca irrespective of the tool it is having the integration part and we can able to integrate with tosca that is the reason tosca is having the demand and advantages which we are having in tosca so we are having in a multiple features in one tool like creating test cases requirements execution reports so everything like what are the things we are having test management tool we are having in tosca and we don't require any scripting here it is in a zero percent coding so it will support all testing methodologies like waterfall it will support for uh, agile methodologies so that is also one of the benefit so in sprint automation also we can do by using tosca and it supports for multiple platforms like sap web applications salesforce database 
so all kind of applications like legacy systems like any mainframes so it will support for all kind of applications platforms and we are having the quality vendor support whenever we stuck up somewhere we are having the vendor support we can connect with them and they will give the resolutions and it is an easy interface to use so the person who is not having any technical background also he can able to understand what we are doing over there and what we need to do so they will say reasonably priced but the thing is in ground level the price is very high for the license but the thing is the features which we are getting is also high so we used to get the quarterly updates by using uh, in tosca like uh, every quarterly they will give the new updates so in those updates they will add the new features and we used to get the quick results after once we execute the test cases and it's suitable for all larger scale operations as well that means like if you are having the bigger projects also it it works and what all are the disadvantages we are having is like license cost so basically the license cost is very high so that's what i said so they will say reasonably priced but the thing is like so the features which you are getting is high that is the reason the license cost also high so it's a heavy tool so if you uh, if you want to install tosca in your system you required at least a 10 gb free space in that particular drive then only you can able to install your tool and you required at least a 4 gb ram to run that tool that is the reason so that is one of the disadvantage we are having so that's it for this session and uh, i will show the what is the trainings we are going to cover in the trainings in the trainings these are all the topics we are going to cover like we are having the schedule wise like how to install tosca and what all are the license types how you will create your workspace and what is the check in functionality what all are the standard modules we are having in tosca and what is docu snap feature and how you can create your modules with the standards and how you can create your library test cases and how you can uh, create your test cases and after that one how you will execute the test cases through the execution list and regular expressions date time functions and how to write the loops in the tosca and how you can prepare your test data through test case design and apart from that how you can pass your data through excel sheets so execution list and requirement section reports <clears throat> these are the topics we are going to cover i will keep this one as well in the google drive link after complete every session so if we complete the session by 9:30 or 10 then by 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock we used to keep all the records in the means like whatever that uh, recorded video we used to place in the google drive on daily basis so you just need to go through the drive and you need to practice that whatever the content we have discussed on that particular day so after completed that four sessions we will provide the trial license so you can go through the trial license and you can activate your license and then you can practice your own so like this we used to keep the session videos and on each and every session we used to keep the session notes as well what we have discussed on that particular session we used to keep it like this so on step by step process so whatever we have discussed we used to keep it in notepad for the theoretical purpose you can read that notepad and you need to practice on that particular session
Okay. So. So these are the disadvantages. So now I will go one by one. If you have any queries, please let me know. Like, so not only for the session. So whatever queries you are having, please ask me. Chendu, do you have any questions or anything? So if you have any doubts on the tool purpose or anything, please let please ask me. Hello, Chendu. Hello. Yeah, Chendu. How is the market for uh, Tosca testing? <coughs> yeah, market means here you need to understand few points. Like, uh, uh, for example, if you uh, most of the people is having an uh, assumption like Selenium is having the more requirements. That means we are having the more opportunities for Selenium. But the thing is, the people who is competing for Selenium is so high. That means if I have hundred jobs, some five hundred people is competing for the hundred jobs. And if you have 100 jobs on Tosca, only the 250 or 300 max competing for Tosca. I can say it's a very less because if you ask any professional tester, that means if you go for any manual tester or if some other people who is working on Tosca, um, some other automation tool, if you ask about Tosca, only few people only know about Tosca. From past two years onwards only, it's so the content means like the people is getting increasing who is who is looking on Tosca because in each and every client is moving to the client uh, Tosca because the features. If you're having the multiple environments by using Selenium or QTP, it's impossible to connect all the environments because I have a front end web, back end SAP, database I have, I'm having APIs. So in my flows, I need to connect all four uh, type of applications. Then with one automation tool, it is not possible earlier. Only the Tosca can do that one. So that is the reason Tosca is having that much of demand nowadays. And the positions when you compare with Selenium, it will be less. But the thing is, you will get an, a better packages than Selenium people, package wise, as well as comfortability. So you don't require to write any coding over there. So just we without coding knowledge also, we can survive in Tosca. So the beauty of tool, not only Tosca, any tool, if you are learning the tool means, if you learn that tool properly, you can you can match up the people who is having the five to six years of experience only. Because here we need to know the features. If you know the features and you have basic logical knowledge, then you can write the scripting over there. You can create your test cases. Okay. Okay. Nagaraju, do you have any questions? No. Sai Navin, do you have any questions? No. Sri Hari. Uh, yes, Ram. Uh, uh, this Tosca testing uh, now. Uh, uh, which companies is recruiting in Hyderabad? Unlike example. All MNCs, uh, all MNCs is using. Right now we are having an opening with. Uh, if you go and uh, Google it, like Tosca openings in Hyderabad, then you can see a lot of Accenture openings. Lot of Vipro mm. opening, Infosys is hiring, Cognizant is hiring, Capgemini is having a lot of openings, and clients like Delight is a lot of openings. So you used to get like an C to H position with Delight. Okay. And nowadays, if you see like um, what it's called uh, in Bangalore, it opened Happiest Mind. So recently, it comes to the public domain. So the Happiest Mind is having a lot of product based companies like Live is using that, uh, started using that Tosca. Okay. So even small, small organizations also moving to Tosca. If you see, uh, ITC Bangalore is having Tosca opening. TCS is having. We're having an so, so we expect uh, we are taking to the school is uh, we are getting the good life in that one. Yeah, I can say see the tool lifetime will be um, I can say ten years max, ten to fifteen years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So after mm -hmm. that one, you need to move to the new tools. That's obviously that uh, uh, everyone used to do. Oh, okay. okay. So one more question, uh, Ram. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 
before uh, we go into the tosca application we create the some workspaces in uh, test cases in that uh, yeah. before we need to we need to create some uh, manual test cases right not required basically the thing is manual mm. test cases once so, uh, you need to know like phases see so first developer will develop that code and then mm. we will come for the system integration testing which means manual testing phase so once mm. functional tests are tested that and if you say the application is stable then the same test cases we used to do automate in the regression phase mm. okay so when you are starting automating that means your test case is ready okay anyway in our sessions i am going to cover some manual topics like how you need to write the test case and all so that is an a basic things only i am not going to go inside of each and everything i am not going to go inside that one so i just want to like ensure that one everyone should understand what is uh, basic thing of manual testing how it will be useful like like this so i will take 3 to 4 sessions like what is requirement and what is scenario and what is test case and how it will be the test case will be how you need to build the test case so three to four sessions for the basics okay and uh, how we are getting the basic questions what is regression what is uat testing will do and what is the uh, agile model and what we are having on the agile model so mm. this kind of stuff we used to cover in the uh, three to four sessions, max three. After that, one, we'll go for the our automation. Because the sessions which we are conducting is for automation. But the thing is, uh, I can observe that most of the people is not having the technical background, even though they know about the testing. So I thought of like, first we need to give the brief about testing. So what is manual testing? How we can do that one, and then how you need to write the scenario, and how you, what is the difference between scenario and testing. So those mm. kind of stuff, if you know, it will be easy for you. Okay, Ram. Sri Hari, uh, do you have any questions? Yes, sir. E H A R I. That Sri Hari is competent now. Yes, 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 yes. You are done, right? So I'm going to Sri yes. Hari Gadde. Hello. Yeah, Pawan. Hello. Do you have any questions? Can you explain testing tools once again? I can't understand. Testing Please. tools. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are having the lot of testing tools like an uh, we So not this Tosca is also like automation tool. Like Tosca, we are having the different tools like QTP we are having and Selenium we are having. And we are having mm -hmm. the tool like test complete. That is also one of the automation tool. And we are okay. having the Sicoli that is image based control. So but the thing is so those are all the automation tools is available in market but the thing is we are not using that one like we are focusing on the tools okay yeah so any other questions guys like so if you have any questions on interview prospect or any other questions you can ask me otherwise we can wind up the session and we can meet tomorrow same time and we can start our regular sessions from tomorrow onwards this is just like demo. So what we are having in Toast Condor. Can I take the silence as an acceptance and everyone is fine with the session? And I'm taking yes, this. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Ram, Ram. Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. Uh, sir, can you show how to get the uh, data from the client and how to Oh, use the tower uh, test uh, task or testing can you show just briefly one two minutes can you can you can you ask me one more time what you are asking please how to get the data from the client and how to do the work in our uh, task or testing so not from the client basically what we used to do is like so we mm. need to prepare our data sheets so here in this one we used to prepare all our data sheets like this Okay, so for example, I go to the Tosca test case design. So, if this is my sample test case which I written for the 
training purpose only if you open this one you can see these are all the attributes which you need to pass the data so you need to pass the data from here and if you want to pass if you want to get the data from database for example so then you need to use the some standard modules once you are completing the standard modules then you will get to know like what we are having and all in the standard module section so we just required in a database modules like tbox db expect module so for example this is the sql one if you see you want to get the data from sql you need to connect with the tosca and you need to run your query and you need to take your data into buffers and the same data you can use it in your test cases by using the buffer name okay Okay. So, but basically, whatever the input data we can create through the TCD or else from Excel file. This is the Excel file data. So you can pass it either way based on the client requirement, and we used to run the our scripts. Okay. 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 Srihari, you are also from Pravin, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you. Any questions? Any other questions? Uh, nothing, Ram. Thank you. Uh, keep on. We'll move on going. If you have any doubts, we'll reach you. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like, uh, once we start our sessions, then you will get a lot of doubts. And um, so uh, you need to practice more. That's it. Okay, all. If you are not having anything, then we can wind up for today, and we'll meet from tomorrow same time, 8:30 onwards. We'll start our regular session. Okay. Thank you.